Mr. Corsi here. In this question, we're shown part of the graph y equals a cos bx in this diagram, and we're asked to state the values of a and b. I think what we should do is have a look at a dynamic graph, one where we can change in real time the values of a and b and see what effect these values have on a normal y equals cosine of x graph. So let's have a look at this dynamic graph now. So here we have a cosine graph. Starts off at 1, goes down to 0 when the angle's 90, comes down to negative 1 when the angle's 180, back up to 0 at 270 degrees, and up to 1 when the angle's 360 degrees. So it's cos x, 1 for a, cos 1x, 1 for b. So we're going to have a look to see what effect changing the values of A has on this normal cosine graph. So let's move A upwards to 2, up to 3, so there's 3 cos x, 4 cos x, 5 cos x. Now, as you can see, instead of starting off at 1, it now starts off at 5. So this number at the front tells you the amplitude of the cosine graph. In this case, it goes from 5 all the way down to negative 5. If I move the value of A back down to 3, for instance, it starts off at 3 and goes all the way down to negative 3. That's called the amplitude. 3 is the amplitude of this cosine graph. So... The value of A tells you how high or how low this graph becomes. And if we go to 0 0.5, it starts off at 0 0.5, a half, and goes down to negative a half. So A gives you the amplitude. Let's put it back to 1. And let's have a look at what effect B has. Here's a normal cosine graph where we've got cos x cosine of 1x. Let's move b up to 2. We've now got cosine of 2x. And you'll notice that instead of one complete cycle, we've now got two complete cycles from 0 up to 360. Let's increase b up to the value of 3. And here we've now got 1, 2, three cycles of the cosine graph in the space of 0 up to 360 degrees. And again, if we go up to 4, that produces four cycles, and up to 5, that produces five cycles of the cosine graph from 0 degrees up to 360 degrees. So the value of B tells you the number of cycles you will have from 0 up to 360. So let's go back to the question. So we can now make sense of this question. We discovered that A was the amplitude. So in this case, the graph goes from 5 down to negative 5. So the amplitude is 5. The value of A is 5. Remember, we found out that B tells you the number of cycles from 0 to 360. Now in this case, the graph stops at 180. So if we are careful about this, let's move it up to 360. And we notice we've got one cycle from 0 up to 90, another cycle from 90 up to 180. We'll have a third cycle from 180 up to 270 and we'll have a four cycle from 270 up to 360. So one, two, three, four cycles between 0 and 360 the value of B is 4. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out and thanks for watching this video.